CW23 presents See What's Now, your entertainment news source. Hey Twin Cities, this is John Foss with CW23 and we're coming to you from the Starking Hearing Foundation Gala. This is the annual event that brings some of the biggest celebrities in the world to the Twin Cities. Oh man, oh man. We have Forrest Whitaker as an honoree and we have Desmond Tutu. We're respecting his work and Prince Seso from uh, Lesotho who's uh, done a lot of work to help the people there. The Starking Hearing Foundation gives hearing aids around the world. We did 165,000 last year and so we have to do it all over again. <laughs> so we're we're starting over tonight. The Starkey Hearing Foundation has just revolutionized uh, access to hearing aids for uh, children and adults. What is it about the cause of helping people with hearing that you're passionate about? Seeing the power uh, of that moment of, of joy, the arrival of that gift for these people, it just, it's overwhelming. You, you want to cry. <laughs> you want to cry because it's like their faces just light up. Wow, if I've never heard music. I would never have sang and I would have never have played and I would never have done this and I've never done it. My life would have been completely different. If someone is bringing like hearing to people who cannot hear, it's an overwhelming and powerful uh, gift. When we go on a mission uh, and we put the hearing aids in people's ears, that connection that they instantly have with you is amazing. And the more I got involved, the more I understood the work that they did, not only for people like me who just need hearing aids, but particularly in developing countries, the millions of people that they help. I'm fitted myself, you know, I'm a user, I'm a supporter, and you know, hopefully I can go out and help fit some kids and adults in, in other places and change their lives. Well, my wife's a client of Starkey, she wears a hearing aid. Being a professional athlete, can use my voice to promote some of the charity work that they do. You don't realize how important hearing is till you don't have it. I was able to go on a mission trip with my wife uh, over to Africa, and it was a life-changing experience. They've kind of brought light to an issue that a lot of people don't really think about as, as being as prevalent as it is. God looks at this and the smile breaks over both face. To be able to talk with people from a hearing level, I just think that's a great experience. And to not have that, I think would be would be unfortunate. You imagine if you can't hear, you really can't speak. So, I mean, you, you're really giving people uh, life and giving them a, a, a better quality of life. I know you've been to Minnesota a couple times. Do you like the area? Oh yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, and the weather is like this all year round. I understand, that's what I heard. I have several friends here and look forward to coming up every year. I give my all to Minnesota for allowing me to come here and also showing me the way as well. That's where my success started. Yeah. Minnesota is where it's at. I love Minnesota three months out of the year. Oh, I love Minnesota. My son went to school here. Nice and humid, but I grew up in Michigan, so I'm used to it. Oh, I've been to Minnesota 152,000 times, man. I've, you know, I've been on tours since 1973. What's like the most famous food in Minnesota? Juicy Lucy? That sounds kind of R-rated. That's what you guys should do. Just bring them on the red carpet and then just give every person their first Juicy Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. How do the Timberwolves look next season? I think that uh, last year it's been a great first step. I think that will lead to people even played even harder and just trying to sacrifice even more to try to accomplish this goal, which is making the playoff and ultimately just winning a championship. With the Vikings, lots of changes this year. New coach, new quarterback. How are things looking there? Uh, it's an exciting time. You know, we feel like our organization is headed in the right direction. Vikings are looking how they're looking. We'll see. I'll see. We feel like we have a lot of work to do still to get where we want to be, but uh, we're happy with the strides we've made so far. Just a new a new environment, a new culture uh, within that locker room. Have you uh, worked with Bridgewater at all yet? Oh Yeah, I worked with Bridgewater. Uh, Matt and um, Chris, you know, I work with all three of those guys. You know, I have a pleasure working with three guys, and all of them three guys looking great this year. We can get our quarterback situation squared squared away. We got, you know, the best running back in the National Football League, and we can't let, waste that time. Those are my fraternity brothers. So all the guys that are coming to training camp, good luck. We'll see you at the Super Bowl. Well, that's it for this year. But join us again next year at the Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala.